they always say if you're gonna shoot a scene then make sure the background reflects the character's journey so That'll do. G'day. Welcome to the Honesty Corner. Where I am 100% honest about everything. Well, not everything. There's usually a focus to each episode, you see. beautiful person watching or person that I am indifferent about but who's watching anyway out of curiosity I don't care what brings you here you're here I have a cleavage today it's fucking unbelievable welcome back to the corner of truth my issue for a while now has been that I haven't been able to wholeheartedly make a plan for my future when I have a sense of unaddressed dread in the pit of my stomach. So on the weekend I watched a documentary called Who's Counting um, and it was about a woman called Marilyn Waring. Basically what it said was that everything in this economy, if it has a cash generating capacity, it has value. What the GDP measures is basically the health of the economy, but it also tends to double as a measurement of the prosperity of a nation and whether it's succeeding. But there's a lot that it leaves out. There's a lot that it doesn't put a value on. For instance, mental health, educational standards, poverty levels, the health of our environment, personal fulfillment, happiness. Basically, the economy is this growth obsessed creature that has led to a property market which many people are locked out of. The cost of living is astronomical. Having debt for the rest of your life is normal. And jobs are burning people out. So the economy is basically fucked. It doesn't care about you, doesn't care about your happiness. It doesn't care if you're under a shit ton of stress. It doesn't care if it makes you sick. Your health will not be measured. Your happiness will not be counted. There will be no value put on your personal fulfillment. And it's dominated my life in a way that I've only just began to wake up to. So I moved to Melbourne about f just over five years ago via Sydney um, and I moved to the big smoke from Tassie because my goal is to become a full-time artist, to make work, to tell stories. Making art is a way of processing the truth and also it's about clarifying what your values are as a human being. When you're creating a story, it's important to clarify what your central character's goals are and what their values are, what they're moving towards, what they're moving away from. And the more I think about it, the more I realize that these things matter so tremendously in my life that I would be prepared to go through a process of simplifying my life so that only those things which lead to the fulfillment of me as a person and the people around me who I love and to the environment and to my soul are the things that are amplified. Everything else is, is, everything else is in service of that. Money, money is there as a tool, as it should be, instead of me being the tool of money or the tool of the economy. And I think... <laughs> To be able to actualize that is going to take some serious research, experience and strategic thinking. But I think the very fact that I am able to make that inquiry and ask that question is, is hopeful 
to me because it means that I believe that it's possible to live a life according to your values and to still be honest and to still have integri integrity. What it comes down to in the end of the day is creating space to be able to become yourself. At this point in history, we need to be talking to each other more about how we can get together and help each other through this because I know a lot of people have thought about this shit but have no one to talk to or haven't even begun to have that conversation within themselves and it just sits in your chest or your gut as a sense of tightness or dread or discomfort or I hope that you can take the time in your day, in your week, in your month, in your year to think about your values and to think about what is truly important to you outside of money, outside of the stupid bullshit economy. And that's why they don't like it because you can't put a price on love. They've tried. <clears throat> you can't put a price on <clears throat> creativity. They've tried. You can't put a price on resilience. They've tried, you know, and that's fucking, that's what advertising is. They take something that was previously not priced and they sell it back to us. Don't let them do it. Honesty is important. It's powerful. It's healing. And it's 100% free. I think I mentioned one of my values um, is intuition. And uh, one of the things that I'm doing is I'm focusing on letting my intuition and my instincts lead where these vlogs, where these videos go. So if you are intrigued about where this is going, don't forget to subscribe or say hello in the comments. I always respond even to trolls, probably shouldn't. Bad for my mental health, but I still do it. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. And if you're watching this and this resonates with you, if you want to talk to someone, then message me. I have all the time in the world for you. Well, maybe not all the time in the world because, you know, climate change. <laughs> but, um... I have an intriguing week. And I will see you next Thursday. Peace, love, and gassy excretions always. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.